Biofilms, what are they? So it's just explaining this to a client of mine that I would share with you. It's not just about the antimicrobials when it comes to getting rid of SIBO. Still, if you've had a bacterial infection in the body for longer than about two weeks, then the little bacteria create something called a biofilm. So bacteria, they, you're a wonderful host, they don't want to go. So the bacteria create this thing called a biofilm, which is going to protect it from things that want to do it harm. Because it's set up home, it's pretty happy, it doesn't want to die. But we want to kill it. <laughs> so if we want to kill it, and it's got the, the biofilm, we need to often bring in something called a biofilm disruptor. So what the biofilm disruptor does, it comes and it pierces holes in this biofilm and membrane. So then your antimicrobials will be more effective because the antimicrobials, which I want you choosing to use, they will actually get in there and kill the bacteria. So I often um, will start my client, I do a whole process, so I make the body a little bit stronger before I go into killing because often everyone's a little bit depleted. Make sure the channels of elimination are working well. And then I'll start the antimicrobials and then after a couple of weeks I'll almost always bring in a, some form of a biofilm disruptor to get the little guys that have been resistant. Yeah. So you want to take um, biofilm disruptors about 20 minutes before taking antimicrobials. One form of uh, biofilm disruptor is NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine, and another one is the enzyme serapeptidase, which you can find in like Ceragold or different, different products. If you're doing it with the serapeptidase, because that's an enzyme, if you take that, then take your food with an antimicrobials, it's going to break down your food versus the, the bacteria. So take it away from food, so it actually gets into the biofilm. That's the biofilm disruptor. Get him.